everybody, and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix, and uh, once again, I am joined with Minho on this uh, lovely uh, Saturday. Saturday. Yep. At least when we're recording, it's Saturday. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, the wheel decided that uh, Minho gets free will today, and uh, you get to pick out a book. Yeah, you just... Yep. Then you get like not even a day. It's like an hour of freedom. Of what? <laughs> yeah. So uh, yep, you get to pick out a book this time. And and uh, so so buddy, uh, what'd you pick out? All right, I'll link it to you. Okay. I've been. What the fuck am I really? <laughs> what? You said this was a normal book. The new guy, Scooby Doo Movies X Male Reader. <laughs> I can't. I actually didn't read or skim any of this, so it might be just total crap. But hopefully, it's good. Hold on, I hold on, I gotta read the description of this. Description: This story takes place during the events of Scooby Doo on, Mo on Zombie Island, and has the protagonist working part time at Dinky's Mystery Bookshop while the gang is disbanding. He joins Velma as she and the gang rejoin back together and head to Moonscar Island for a new mystery. And, and, it, and it showcases the following movies. Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island. Scooby-Doo and the Witch's Ghost. Oh my god, shut the fuck up, Java Update. I'm reading important things. The In-Between. Scooby-Doo and the, <laughs> the Alien Invaders. The In-Between. And then Scooby-Doo in the Cyber Chase. What the fuck, Minho? Normal. normal? <laughs> Alright, actually, let me pull up my Scooby-Doo background music so I can get into it. Oh. <laughs> I can't do that, but go ahead. Alright. There's 50 parts? Dude, are we gonna add this to the wheel? Oh my god, season 2 confirmed! So what do you mean there's 15 parts? Sorry, 30. Sorry. Oh, chapters, yeah. yeah. Dang, this guy's dedicated. Yeah. <laughs> Man, no. Also, a rule. Whenever uh, you're reading dialogue, you have to say it in their voice. <laughs> That's a rule. We have never made that a rule. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> just for this hour? Alright. Well, I guess I'll start reading. Meet the gang. Alright. Oh shit, we gotta come up with a- with a- with a OC. Let me clear out the other shit that I had on here. Last name. <laughs> Alrighty, so we have what? Where we make? Well, it's your video, dude. Well, I, so what? What's the first and last name of this character? How do you spell that? <laughs> uh, R A B B Y. And then last. Okay. R O O for the last name. Yeah. Rabbi, I fucking hate you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Rabbi Roo as the new guy. Yeah, uh, Fred Jones as the leader. Daphne Blake as the socialist. The socialist. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what it says. I swear to God, it's a socialist. <laughs> Velma Dinkley as the smart one. What is this picture of Shaggy that they pulled up? <laughs> oh yeah, that's how she. Yeah. Norville Shaggy Rogers as normal teen, in quotes. And then, Scooby-Doo as the lovable mascot. Just a 2D stock image of Scooby-Doo. Yeah. <laughs> Chapter 1. The Return of the Mystery, Inc. Alright, uh, well, it's your video, man. Who, who do you want to start? Alright. Okay. Oh, now you're being equal, huh? Okay. 
So, uh, which one you want to be heads or tails? You know what? That is a fact. He does have a tail. <laughs> Alright. Tails you read, heads I read. Alright. You're reading. <laughs> okay. I'll, you know, I'll just take your word for it. You, you may or may not be What do you mean? I put, I landed on tails. <laughs> also, looking through this, it um it looks like it altered like it has like the uh the narrator and then it has the character that's speaking. So should we have assigned people who cover certain ones or what? Yeah, like we all like uh, keep a character. Uh, we, can, uh, we can do that. Okay. I'm, down. I'm just skimming through and seeing. Oh yeah, it's like all dialogue. Then. Yeah, because it starts with the character talk, like who, which character's talking, then what their dialogue is. So, okay. so it could be easier. Like yeah. All right. Do you want me to narrate? Okay. Alright. A year after the game- what? Huh? Do you want me to read the characters? I mean, we can do some kit. like, do you want me to do, uh, Rabbi's voice? And then you can do Velma? <laughs> uh, oh, you can do the female voices, I'll do the, the male voices. Alright, I see, alright, and then do you want to do narrator then? Uh, yeah. Okay, alright, do the narrator, alright. Yes, we do carry the. I don't remember what Velma's voice is. It's been a long time since I. Oh my god. <laughs> Hold on. Let me put my cotton candy down. Hold on. I got a raspy male, like, male voice that I kind of do. Maybe I can try to alternate as female real quick. Uh huh. Yes, we do carry the Hair Razors series. Number 23, The Vampire Village. Got it. Number 24, The Creepy Clown Town. Got it. Number 25, The Mallet of At Mummy Manor. Got it. Yes, I hold them. <laughs> yes, I hold them till Tuesday. <laughs> oh my god, shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> this is dumb. <laughs> Two weeks from Tuesday? Yeah, that'll be fine. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Need a hand with those, Velm? Nah, I got it. <laughs> Velma then picks up the large stack of books and moves them onto a table next to a small TV that's playing an interview with Daphne Blake, which Velma begins to watch. Solving mysteries was a lot more fun than selling them. And why quit? It lost its pizzazz that it used to have when back when we were kids. Rabbi sees now as he put his book down that Velma is looking longingly at the TV screen. Bet you miss it, though. So, oh, that's me. <laughs> Suddenly a phone goes off. <laughs> Suddenly a phone goes off and Velma is distracted by the show she's watching, so Rabbi answers it. Hello? Binkley Mysteries Books? How can I help? Uh, is Velma there? I don't One know. sec. Is she there? <laughs> Ravi puts the phone to his shoulder and calls to Velma. Velma, it's for you. Who is it? <laughs> Stop laughing at me, bitch! <laughs> I don't know, I'll check. Ravi puts the phone back to his ear. She wants to know who it is. Uh, Fred, on the phone. Oh, tell her it's Fred Jones. As in Mystery Inc. Fred Jones? Velma perks up, hearing this... Hearing this turning to Rabbi? Oh, hearing this turning to Rabbi. 
Ready? Y yeah, can I talk to Velma now? Abby looks over at Velma and puts the phone towards her. It's Fred Jones. Velma then snatched the phone out of Rabbi's hand, making it grow. Grow? At shock the speed? <laughs> yep, that looks fine. <laughs> what is that trying to say, though? I don't know. Uh, it snatches the phone out of Rabbi's hand, making... Uh, <laughs> shocked at the speed? Making him grow at shock the speed. I guess. Hi, Fred. Yeah, it's me. And Jinkies! That was great! <laughs> Shut the fuck up, man! <laughs> Got me in. Oh, are you sure I can bring a plus one? Great, I'll ask him. Velma puts the phone to her shoulder. Hey, Rabby? Yeah, Velma, I'll take care of the shop while you're gone. No, I'll get the others to do that. I want you to come with me and join the Mystery Inc. Huh? Same. Time skip to about an hour later with Rabby meeting the gang. Fred pulls up to the bookstore with the mystery machine having already pick picked up Shaggy and Scooby from their job as TSA agents. They're TSA, <laughs> TSA agents? <laughs> Wait, what does TSA stand for? Um, something security agent? Let me look it up. Yeah, yeah, look it up. That's, that's your... <laughs> oh, no, no, I was wrong. Transportation Security Administration. Nice. The airport dudes. Man, I can't believe they're not, like, like food inspectors. <laughs> That would make sense, actually. Yeah. Maybe there's part timing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, we're here. Says Fred. Uh, Velma and Rabbi walk out of the bookstore before Velma begins introductions. Rabbi, this is Fred. Fred, the guy who you spoke to on the phone. <laughs> nice to meet you in the flesh, Rabbi. Fred pull, puts his hand out to Rabbi, and Rabbi takes it before he quickly shakes it. Same here, Fred. I can't wait for you to do Shaggy's voice! <laughs> wait, I need... <laughs> I need a... Yeah, this is Shaggy. <laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> Oh it's just like I'm watching Scooby Doo! <laughs> okay. Uh, Shaggy puts his hand up to high five and Rabbi recuperates it. A pleasure, Norville. It's just Shaggy, man. <laughs> then it's a pleasure, Shaggy, man. Shaggy lets out a giggle at this. You gotta do, you gotta do it. Let out a giggle at this. <laughs> no, it doesn't say. <laughs> Alright, fine. It doesn't fine. say to let out a giggle, okay? And last but not least, Scooby Doo! <laughs> Scooby, <laughs> Scooby comes over and pets the Great Dane. Rabia! Rabby just stands there in shock hearing the dog while Velma starts to shake him confused. Rabby? Oh, that's not me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Rabby? Rabbi snaps out of his shock as a smile grows on his face. The dog really does talk. Dope. Fred says, now that introductions are done, we got to drive before we get Daphne for her birthday. Wait, it's her birthday? I didn't get her anything. Get her a fruit basket. People love those. Author's That's note. A.N. Author's note. I forgot to put in Dragon Age in question joke in here. Ha 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 ha. Um, what does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> Just smile and nod. <laughs> uh, okay. Fred says, it's fine. She'll get a surprise just meeting you. I hope it's not too much that I join you. It's cool, man. The more the merrier. Time skip to Daphne's house. As Fred pulls in, Daphne gives him what's... Daphne gives him a what's taken you so long look. Sorry I'm late, Daph. The traffic was murder. Fred gets out and helps Daphne with her bags. Is this everything? Okay, hold on. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. You gotta sound- wait, what is she- I'm actually- I was trying to find like a preppy kind of voice. No, I love it chefs. Is preppy. It is kind of preppy. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> the fuck uh, got the map? Yeah. 
Are you sure you haven't forgotten anything? Fred, what is up with you? Yes, I'm sure, I'm sure. <laughs> well then, the rest of the gang plus Ron, <laughs> Rabbi pop out of the back of the van. Rabbi... Oh, what's SR? Uh... S R S D and V? What is that? Scooby Doo, Velma, and Shaggy? Wow, they couldn't they couldn't write out the name. No. Oh maybe they want to keep it on one line. Yeah. Right. Rabbi You ready for wait, this? What's SR? Can... SR is um Shaggy Rogers, I think. So we gotta say this line at the exact same time. Okay. Alright, you ready? How do I do multiple voices at the same time? Which one do I do Shaggy's do I'll do, do Velma's? <laughs> okay. Alright, ready? <laughs> Three, two, one. Surprise! Surprise! Happy oh, birthday, Daphne! <laughs> Why did I unconsciously try to do Daphne's voice? I don't know, man. Alright, I'll, I'll do... Alright, Shaggy. Okay. I like, think of it in my mind. It's so hard. What, doing Shaggy's voice? Yeah. Alright, you do countdown. <laughs> Alright, on go. Three, two, one. Go. Surprise! Surprise! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Daphne! Daphne. <laughs> this is the stupid shit we I heard. hope you don't mind. I asked the gang to come along. Oh, Fred, this is the best birthday present ever! <laughs> Daphne giggles until noticing the new face. Hello, and you are? Rapping room, Miss Blake. A friend of the Vel- I'm trying to do shy- I'm doing Shaggy's voice now for something. <laughs> Rabbi Rue, Miss Blake's a friend of Velma's. I work at the bookstore she runs, and I was invited to come along if that's okay with you. Of course! A pleasure, Mr. Rowe, and gosh, it's great to see you all. <laughs> I've been working so hard, I guess I forgot my own birthday. It's just like <laughs> old times. <laughs> <laughs> Daphne begins to hug Fred. In a very close way, making Rabbi raise a brow before he nudges Velma. And she looks to him as he points to Daphne and Fred. I knew they worked together, but are they... Not that I know of. Gooby jumps between Fred and Daphne. Rude! Oh, Remus! What is he trying to say here? What does that mean? Old times? Old Remus? Oh, oh, old Rudge. <laughs> Why is there an apostrophe? I don't know, man. <laughs> Just has to be to lick Daphne and Fred. Easy, boy. It's great to see you, too. Speaking of old times, look what I have for you, Scooby. Velma suddenly pulls a box of Scooby snacks out of nowhere, and Scooby goes up to Velma panting. Oh my god, oh, the boy. Boy, Scooby oh, Jackson! <laughs> <laughs> and then Shaggy comes up and does the same. Oh boy! Velma then throws them. Go on, boys! <laughs> As Shaggy goes to catch them in his mouth, Scooby gets them instead. Hey! Velma goes up to Shaggy and hands him some, some from the box. I've been saving these Scooby snacks for a long time. They're probably expired. <laughs> <laughs> Scooby and Shaggy begin to gag on the snacks. Like, too long, Velma. They're stale. We pan to Daphne, Rabbi, and Fred watching with Rabbi smiling at the antics. So, Fred, says you work for Velma? How did, how did that happen? <laughs> needed a job, so she needed an employee. That's it? That's it. Riveting conversation. <laughs> <laughs> that is very insightful. Fred, don't worry, guys. We're going to New Orleans for our first segment, Hunts of Louisiana. Who the fuck wants to go to Louisiana? <laughs> oh, I, I mean, used to live there oh, a little shit, bit. Sorry, <laughs> I don't really remember a lot of it. Good, I guess. They have good seafood. Do they? Yeah, they live on the coast, so. Yeah. Oh, okay. That makes sense. And New Orleans is has the best food in the world. <laughs> Shaggy and Scooby perk up at this. And the best ghost. It's Rabbi's turn to perk up while Shaggy and Scooby get scared. I hope. Well, 
Let's get going! <laughs> hold it, hold it. There's just one more thing. Fred rips off Daphne's cost to cost banner to revel the Mystery Machine logo. Groovy! Perfect! Mystery Inc. is back in business. Rabbi smiles, happy to join the gang and the whole gang group. The whole gang group high five, or well, high six, which ends the chapter. Yippee! <laughs> that was. You chose this. <laughs> I just want to. I just want to remind I, you. Yeah, you know what? Fair. I'm just Wait. listening to this background music. It's just the stupidest thing I'm hearing right now. <laughs> Good. Author's oh, note: This is a montage. Rabbi is mostly learned from the gang as they go through each mystery. All right, not gonna watch it. <laughs> hmm. All right, you want to narrate for this chapter? Yeah, I can narrate. Seeing how you like, we there's mostly alternate. boys and shit. So <laughs> I have two females. So yeah. While you have three dudes and a dog, I think I can handle narrating. <laughs> <laughs> After the montage, they find Fred and Rabbi eating what the fuck does that say? Baguette. Bay net. Daphne. I'm looking this up. Yeah, Daphne. Disappointed. Velma listening to Daphne's woes on the bench in the middle of New Orleans. Oh, oh how do I not remember this? Yeah, yeah. baynets. They're like a New Orleans food. Oh, okay. They taste so good. Nice. Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, bad guys in mass. Mechanical claws with magnets, hologram projectors. <laughs> it's like the good old days. Too much like the good old days. I have a show to do. I need real life ghosts. Be careful what you wish for. And that's an acting moron. Doesn't anyone want a bayonet other than Rappy? What I want is a house that's really haunted. I mean, there must be one in somewhere in, in Louisiana. There is. I work on it. The group of four turn to see this bitch. I don't remember what her voice sounds like, so. <laughs> yeah, just make one up. I'm just gonna do my normal voice. <laughs> She's like, make her a mysterious character. <laughs> kind of like a an elder, I don't know, okay. elder mysterious voice. I don't think elder would describe this woman. She's like in her 30s. <laughs> yeah. But, I don't, yeah, yeah, just mysterious. Sorry, I can't help it over here. I work as a chef in a house on Moonscar Island, a house that really is haunted. Moonscar Island? How mysterious. I like it. Jinkies. <laughs> the name is Lena. Lena Burn. Dupree. What, whatever. Dupree. Dupree. Rabbi is the first to get up from the bench and dust himself off to, at the. Bonnet's flower before introducing himself. Pleasure. My name is Rabbi Rue. Uh, authors note, goddamn my brain, I read the last line out to myself and it came out as pleasure. My name is your name last name. <laughs> 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 then Freddy gets then, up after him and does the same. And I'm Fred Jones. This is Velma Dinkley and Daphne Blake. Charmed. Moonscar Island? Where is that? <laughs> what the fuck does that say? Bagu? It's in a... Bayou? Oh yeah. It's in a bayou not far from here. A pirate named Morgan Moonscar died on the island. His spirit still haunts the place. <laughs> Creepy. And he must have been a respectful man to have the island name after him. Lena seems to tense up and no one seems to know it except Rabbi. Rabbi in his mind. Best to keep an eye and honor or something. Something isn't sitting right with me. Uh-huh. Well, no offense, Lena, but it's probably just some guy in an old pirate suit trying to scare off the local kids. The ghost is real. Of course, if you're too scared to go. Scared? Me? No, I, I don't think so. If you want to check it out, you're welcome to come by. I'll be leaving when I- when I'm finished shopping. Well, we'll think about it. And just as quick as she came, she was gone. Red turns to Daphne. Well, what do you think? 
What do we have to lose? It's the best lead we have all day. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> and that Lena is kind of cute. Fred! <laughs> Just mentioned me real photogenic for a segment. I'm sure Ravi agrees with me. He hasn't stopped looking in the direction she left. The two look at Rabbi, who intensely stares in the direction Lena left. Rabbi in his mind. What secrets are you hiding? Right, well, wipe your upper lip, Romeo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Daphne goes to wipe Fred's lip, but is interrupted by Velma. Jinkies, listen to this. Rabbi looks over, intriguing, intrigued by what she has found. I punched in... Moonscar Island in our research database? There's been strange disappearances around that island over for years. Sounds promising. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I just feel so conflicted listening to you. I'm just like, it sounds so annoying. I was trying to but manifest like, that kind of voice. Of like, character. I love shouts. I just love shouts. Kind of <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's it's going pretty well. It's accurate. Thanks. Robbie. And dangerous. Well, we better find Scooby and Shaggy before Lena takes off. Fred, where does guys go? There's no mystery. Where where else? To get a bite to eat. We cut to find Shaggy and Scooby eating a, at, at a food stand before the rest of the gang are seen approaching. Hey. Let's go, guys. We found another haunted house to investigate. Shaggy and Scooby get scared by this before Rabbi decides to add to the fear. I think you'd be in a whole, whole island, Fred, with disappearances and everything. Scooby and Shaggy get more worried before they dissolve to the gang. Before we did, wait, yeah, dissolve to the gang, just driving up a pier, just having followed Leah, just before they met. Ooh, Miss Lena. I hope you brought some company, eh? Leah stops to greet the man. Yes, I should know how to pronounce this. <laughs> Jackess. Jax? Jackess? Jax. <laughs> These folks came a long way to see a real haunted house. I don't know, another retreat, hopefully a lot better than the last one I encountered. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Jax. Well... If they- oh, no, I'm looking this up. I don't think it's Jax. I don't remember actually how to pronounce it. I know I've seen the name before and I just forgot how I to pronounce it. Like yeah, probably. Pronounced. Put that shit into Google. <laughs> this is what I'm doing. Oh, it is kind of like Jack. It's just with a French voice. It's like Jacques. <laughs> Jacques. Jacques. Alright. Alright, Jacques. Well, well, if they want hunted, they've come to the right place. <laughs> People come into that bayou and they don't never come out. Except you, Lena and whoever else works at the house of Lena as well as the owner. Jax seems too tense like Lena did, and again, no one knows it except for Rabbi. So we understand. <laughs> The gang then follow Leah onto the boat before everyone gets onto their vehicles. Jackie then yells with Scooby, peering out of the van behind them, at, out to Jax. Like, do you sell food on this ferry? We're starved. Huh, I didn't know you guys had a dog. <laughs> it's got a BM. She said that right after Shaggy talked. Sounds like she's talking about him. Yeah, she looked at Shaggy and was like, I didn't know you guys had a dog. <laughs> oh, you have two dogs. Nice. At uh, Ravi arched and brow at this. Rogue? Where? Are you allergic to dog? Mm. No. It's just my employer, Miss Lerner. She keeps cats. Robbie in his mind. Hopefully Scooby is good with cats. Like, don't worry, Scooby's great with cats, right? Huh? Looks to Shaggy and sees him nod. Oh, rare. 
gotta be in his mind. Oh god, this is going to end badly, isn't it? The gang enjoy a quiet ride on the ferry down to the, the bayou with Jax on the helm. Daphne, Velma, Lena, and Rabbi are in the booth with him, while Shaggy and Scooby are in the main section of the ferry with Fred filming the surrounding, the surrounding bayou. Fred. Gosh, I'd sure hate to get lost in here. Oh, it's, ja <laughs> it's Jacques. <laughs> we hey, way back in the 1700s, parts used this bayou to hide from the law. They knew only a fool would come a-looking in here. Rabbi. Guess that would make us fools, then. And Morgan Moon Moonscar is one of those pirates. <laughs> Yes, Charles. He was one of the most famous of them. The gang then hear Shaggy and Scooby find a catfish. Rookie, look! A catfish! Like, man, that's the biggest catfish I've ever seen. <laughs> it's probably Big Mona, and nobody never been able to catch her. Rabbi leaves the booth to go have a look and see Scooby get splashed by the catfish and tries his best to hold back from laughing. Yes, that's one catfish who doesn't like dogs, old buddy. Rotten catfish. The catfish splashes Scooby again before swimming off. When Scooby tries to grab it, he almost falls in. But thanks to Shaggy, he doesn't. For a second, before Shaggy also starts to fall with him and Rabbi tries to save them, only... But only manages to rip apart of Shaggy's t-shirt as the as both master and dog fall in. Oh, well, bam. The gang watches alligators see them and go after them into the water. Shaggy, Scooby, look out! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jax! You've got to turn this thing around. I'm trying, son, but you don't turn on no dime. Realizing the alligators are going faster than the ferry, Rabbi dies in after them in hopes of helping them, but goes underneath the surface as soon as he enters the water. Rabbi! <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Bubba <laughs> also tries to help by throwing a lifesaver. Hold on, guys! A Shaggy and Scooby go swimming toward the... Uh, and Alligator destroys it, while Rabbi resurfaces for the gang to see he's okay and starts swimming towards Shaggy and Scooby, who start rapidly swimming past him, making him wonder why, and quickly sees the three alligators coming straight at him, and turns and starts rapidly swimming after the duo. The three stop when the boat gets in their way, where they are saved by some Crocodile Donny-looking character. Yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that. Fun fact, Author's note. this character is voiced by Mark Hamill, who is well known for voicing the Joker in the Trickster. Mark Hamill? Yep. From DC and Ozzy from Avatar, The Last Airbender. And playing the live-action Luke Skywalker in the Star Wars? Also the live-action version of the Trickster from DC. Wait, what is he talking about live-action Luke Skywalker from Star Wars? He's just known as the... He, he the played... actor. Yeah, he just is the actor of Luke Skywalker from Star Wars. I mean, Star Wars is such a big franchise now. Like, they have, like, anime, like, uh, they probably have, like... Oh my god, there's no show. way that this author doesn't know that Mark Hamill played Luke Skywalker in the original Star Wars. Oh, <laughs> they meant the live action. <laughs> Maybe they only saw, like, The Force Awakens or something. Yeah, that probably is it. <laughs> <laughs> Production. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah, me. Yeah, you're shaggy. Uh, like, thanks, mister. The man then growls at them. Did you just growl at us? He just sneers at Rabbi and unfazing the young man. Should've let the gators eat ya. I can't stand tourists. All your splashing chased Big Mona away. Quit your grumbling, snake bite. You had never caught that fist, and you never gonna did. Thank you. And then splash... He then splashes some water at the boat, hitting Daphne, Fred, and Velma. 
and Rabbi tries once more to get to hold back his laughter. Not too friendly, is he? Suddenly, a pig boar thing appears. <laughs> They're just introducing characters left and right. Yeah, I mean, it is a movie. <laughs> it scares the hell out of Shaggy and Scooby while Rabbi is unfazed, instead smiling at the creature. What the hell is that? This here is my... Uh, this here is my hunting pig, Mojo. Hunting pig? He's a lot better than any hound dog. Rabbi crouches down and starts scratching behind the pig's ear. Mojo seems to like the attention, leaving Snakebike slightly confused. Hello there, cutie. Rabbi stands up and stops petting Mojo, who seems disappointed while Snakebite shakes his confusion. He, he can smell a catfish a mile away. Mojo goes on the platform and snips just as Big Mona appears and splashes more water on Scooby, making Snakebite laugh at this, joined by Mojo while Scooby is just disappointed. A lot smarter than any dog, too. He then yells at Jess Jax. 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 <laughs> Oh, it's me. <laughs> so I, mm. I keep reading Snake Bite, and I'm just like, I have to read more male characters. <laughs> now, is... get these trespassing terrorists off my boat. I got fishing to do. Mojo then nudges him and nods at Rabbi, who is trying his best to help Scooby get dry with a towel he found. Ugh, the scruffy one can stay for a bit. Mojo seems to like him. Scruffy? Shakes. Rabbi shakes his head. Sorry, but no thanks. I think I'll head back to my friends. Shaggy and Scooby then jump off and back onto the ferry, but just as Rabbi was about to join them, Mojo stops him, making him look at the pig and pet the Ted. I'm sure we'll meet again, buddy. And with that, he jumps into the furry, waving goodbye at the pig. Ah, that's old snakebite Scruggs. Hey. He think the bayou in his own private preserve. He don't like anybody being in it, no. Like, we've noticed. Suspicious character, eh, Velma? I wouldn't say he's a suspect. Like, that's what's that, man? If he wanted us dead, he would have he wouldn't have saved us from the alligators. Oh, yeah. Exactly. That's what I was gonna say. Might as well you might as have the makings of an investigator yet, Jirabi. And with that, they can continue their trip to Moonscar Island. Ending of the chapter. <laughs> this is this is so hard keeping everyone's voice in my head. Oh my god! <laughs> like five different voices. <laughs> what did you just said? Wait a minute. What is this? You said background music for Scooby Doo. <laughs> Scooby Doo, where are you? Full soundtrack. I'll listen to it later. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's getting me in the mood to read. Oh my god. Well, what'd you think? Well, I don't even know why I'm asking you. Yeah, you- No, I am asking you. What the fuck were you thinking when you picked this out? I- I have no idea. I, I mean... I didn't think there was gonna be that much dialogue. And it just freaking- my brain is gonna explode. You know, I- I'm enjoying this, actually. I never expected to add Scooby-Doo onto the- a, a wheel, but, you know what? It was a first for everyone. I like your Velma voice. Yeah, the fucking, like... Jinkies. Yeah, the nasally voice. <laughs> yeah, the jinkies. <laughs> you, know, no, you know what's funny? I just reused Grubba's voice in Paper Mario for that. <laughs> <laughs> now I have to read, like, a Jax X Velma reader. Or a Fred X Velma. <laughs> oh my god. God, dude. Should we, if we find it, should we add it to the wheel? <laughs> <laughs> There's no way it exists. Oh, it probably does. Someone's made some cursed shit out there. But mm. I'm definitely gonna add it to the wheel after we record, because I want to like keep going with this. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah. But uh, I, I'll have the book down in the description down below if you guys would like to read it. This was a fun one. But she gets them to do different characters. It was pretty fun. Honestly, when I was reading the uh, the alligator part, mm -hmm. it like cut to like 
dangerous music, and then I started being like, oh my god, it actually sounds like a Scooby-Doo episode. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> well, alright, now we gotta spin the wheel and figure out what the fuck is going on. Next time we have to sit down and record. Oh boy. Yep. Alright, so... A lot of suggestions. Hide those. We don't want to see them. Alright, spin this shit. Please be something good. Please be something good. Please be something good. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! The classic. I am so happy! <laughs> How many chapters are in that left? It's updated a while ago, again. What chapter are we on? I, I forgot. It's been a while, I'm gonna have to rewatch our own video to figure out that. <laughs> well, at least it's, it wasn't cold res. I kinda just had a heart attack there. What, you don't like the Colrez book? We're almost done with the Colrez book. Oh, it was like... Uh, I don't know. We didn't like the way the Colrez book ended last time, where it was Middle like, of a terrorist attack. <laughs> yeah, they're like, This gem could destroy everything that we like and make your Pokémon go wild. Anyway, the pizza's gonna be here in 50 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's talk after pizza. Yeah. We're almost we're almost done with it, so if we finish it, then no more reading Colrez. That's true. Yeah, see there's there's positives somewhere. There's positives in everything. Yeah, if you can call that a positive. Yeah, but I, more Harvey. We get more slow burner. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly forgot what happened last. Like me too. It honestly. just they just keep like going back and forth. It's like a drama. Yeah, well, I mean that, that's the point, dude. They were starting to get together and then they kind of stopped. So I don't think they're established yet at all. But like, should I just resend you our, our video and be like, all right, I need you to know, to listen through this. That way we know what we're, what's <laughs> yeah. I need happen. to put some like I need to take some notes on it and then have some um, synopsis. Spark notes on the side. <laughs> spark notes, Harvey reader. <laughs> 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 oh shit! But uh, but anyway, uh, my name is Phoenix. That was uh, that was Minho, and I guess we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Yeah.